Hey guys, welcome back to Baking with Shannon. Today we're whipping out whatever you used to have left in those quarantine cupboards and baking up some buns. If you've ever been to a Chinese bakery, these may look familiar to you, and they're called Chinese cocktail buns, or gai mei bao in Cantonese, which are soft and fluffy on the inside and filled with a sweet coconut filling. So don't forget to hit that like button if you love fresh bread like I do and subscribe for new recipes like this every week. Start out by reserving some coconut milk for the tang zong, which is a mixture of one part flour and five parts liquid by weight. I'm making my buns a little extra rich today by substituting full fat coconut milk for water. Even though there's an added step to this dough that requires very minimal effort, don't be scared off. It'll only take a few seconds of a mix in and a stir in and a few minutes in the microwave to make this tang zong. The idea behind this cooked mixture of flour and liquid that will be added to the rest of the dough is to allow the bread to hold on to more moisture, thereby creating soft and fluffy buns. And of course, who doesn't love soft and fluffy buns? So after 4 minutes in the microwave, whisking intermittently to avoid any flour lumps, you should have a thick gummy looking slurry on your hands. But please, by all means, don't add this to the rest of your dough, otherwise you're going to kill your yeast. It's way too hot right now, so we're going to let it cool down just so lukewarm and you won't regret it. While the tang zong's cooling, we're going to go ahead and get a move on with the rest of our dough. So at this point, it's all about dumping stuff into your mixing bowl. So this includes the rest of your coconut milk, some flour, sugar to help feed that yeast, as well as nice and alive yeast, hopefully, <laughs> and a room temperature egg, some melted butter that's just barely lukewarm, and of course our tang zong. down it kind of leaves an indentation but slowly rises back up so you know that, that means it's elastic and th another way to know if your dough is done kneading is if you just take a little piece like that and you just stretch it try not to pull too hard hold on not a good example <laughs> okay took a little piece of dough and you just gently stretch it this should stretch for the most part. I did tear a little bit there, but you can see how thin it's able to get. You can see there's a little bit of translucency and it can get pretty thin. It's called the window test. That's how you know your dough is also done kneading. Go ahead and rub that oil around. Just place your dough ball in there like that and then just get a plastic wrap. Let it rise, double in size. So while we wait, let's get busy making the filling of our dough. Start by toasting up some sweetened coconut flakes for about 10 to 12 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius until just golden brown and smelling amazing. In a medium sized bowl, smear together some room temperature softened butter and some sugar just until combined and then add your non-fat dried milk powder and a dainty splash of vanilla. Then add your cool to room temperature coconut and get in there with your hands, it must be clean hands of course, and just smush it together and it's a lot easier, it's a lot more fun to get your hands involved, it's, just, it's the best tool in the kitchen and it's a lot easier to do than you're using your spatula. So go ahead and crush it up and just set that aside. Okay, so fast forward a couple hours later and we have a beautifully risen dough that's super gassy and full of air pockets. Okay, so technically that's CO2 for you food scientists out there, but anyway, let's just knock all that air out and try your best to equally divide the dough into individual balls. I made larger buns so I ended up with just 7 balls weighing about 120 grams each. That way you know it's even, if you do have a scale, go ahead and use that, but you definitely can make smaller buns if you want. So to shape our buns, simply flatten the ball into a rectangle using your hands to pull and stretch that dough. The dough likes yoga, so it does like to be stretched. And there's no need to use any rolling pin here because of course nobody wants to wash more dishes than they have to. And the dough shouldn't stick to your counter surface, so no additional flour to dust the surface is needed. Fill each bun with a lineup filling placed in the center, then just bring the opposite edges together and pinch them to seal.
Once you have your little baguette shaped bun, go ahead and fold those two ends inward and just invert the whole bun. Then you just want to rock your little baby buns back and forth side to side to ensure a tight seal and so it doesn't bust open during baking. Place each bun onto a lined baking sheet, leaving about a quarter of an inch or so in between. And you do want them to adhere, adhere shoulder to shoulder and become really close buddies while they're proofing for that really authentic Chinese bakery touch and look. Then just cover your buns and allow them to rise until doubled in size. So right before you're ready to bake your buns off, you want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and just brush each one gently with some egg wash. We don't want to knock any of that fluffy air out of it. And just sprinkle it with some sesame seeds for a nice toasty crunch. Then just bake them off for 10 to 15 minutes or until golden and glistening like so. So once you take these puppies out of the oven and you have nice, warm, tender buns on your hands, which is exactly what you need at this time, get it, need, bread kneading? <laughs> okay, all corny jokes and puns aside, you know, what better way to celebrate Chinese culture than to bake a fresh gai mei bao? And for those of you who don't know, gai mei bao literally translates to chicken tail buns, but thank goodness it does not taste anything remotely like that. It's just sweet and coconutty super rich of course from the coconut milk that we use in the dough soft and tender and fluffy it's just all things that you want in a nice uh, filled bun so if you try these at home let me know what you think in the comments below as, as well as thumbs up the video i really appreciate it and subscribe for new recipes like this every tuesday and friday thanks and have a great day bye